Hey everyone, I'm Cryptane, and I've decided, you know what, I think I just want to do a Let's Play. Um, I've been planning on doing this for a long time, but, you know, anxiety gets the best of me? I don't know, but uh, I figured with the 1.9 update, the time is nigh, so here I am. Starting out, uh, New World, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to hard. Wait, yeah hard lock it sure uh and that's that that's what we're playing on survival let's play on hard now this is going to be a little different uh than your general let's play uh obviously as i go through my adventures you'll be following along uh good times for sure but i plan to talk about like current events and stuff you know i want to it's like a curated list of uh, things that are going on right now or things that uh, I'm personally interested in. Uh, I should actually <laughs> start to get some, okay. Oh, <laughs> like why are you following me? But I, I see now, I got the seeds, my uh, the only item I need, right? I'll make my little army of chickens here and I will go out and I will conquer the world. Uh, I got, uh, I'm not necessarily the most proficient at building or, well, I, you know, I, I can build, you know, pretty well, I guess. But uh, designing, I suppose, is where I fall short a little. But that's okay. I got I got designs. Uh, <laughs> I guess the end goal, if you can say there's an end goal in this game, is to pretty much get it, every item, you know, uh, build, a, build a little kingdom. Uh, but ultimately, it doesn't really matter because as I go along, I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, whatever suits my fancy. And then I'll uh, put it in the description down below <laughs> so uh i figure i guess i should i'll get myself situated uh and then i'm gonna get my uh what do i need i need trees i guess i guess uh i guess this swamp over here will work um i'll get myself situated and then uh we will uh we'll go from there uh actually you know what you can join me i, I can talk about a few things while i'm doing this uh as you all know you know you gotta Gotta get yourself set up before the night fall. Oh, it just looks dark over here. It's like, <laughs> where's the sun? Uh, oh, we're doing okay. Uh, so, you know, get your wood, get your tools. We'll get your, get started here. Uh, anyways, uh, but as a, as one of the first topics I wanted to talk about, have you guys heard about uh, Boston Dynamics? Uh, they've made a robot, a four-legged one originally, uh, and they were contracted with the, the US military to make it, and it's uh, basically, four-legged uh dog-like robot uh called big dog uh and uh it was gas powered though uh sounded like a bunch of bees very loud uh and it was it's supposed to be able to travel over rough terrain uh and the idea there is uh if soldiers you know you can't bring a vehicle to mountainous terrain or wherever the case may be or heavily forested or whatever then this robot would have been able to come along uh and carry uh, supplies with them uh, but despite how proficient it was at being able to walk and navigate on its own, it still was loud, very loud. And, uh, I guess, I guess the military decided that the last thing they want is their soldiers sitting around, uh, a beehive, just buzzing along as enemies, you know, they're obviously going to hear it and, uh, that's not going to work out so hot. So, uh, that didn't work out. Uh, but, but what happened is, uh, Google or, uh, I guess now Al Alphabet. Uh, which which is like the parent company of Google, uh, they own Boston Dynamics now, uh, so they're they're not uh, contracted by the military anymore, and they've made a made a new uh, two legged robot called Atlas, uh, and it's really neat. It's about the size of a human, uh, which is nice, and it has and it, and it, and so two legs, and it can still navigate oh, navigate navigate just like a just like a regular human could through uh, rougher terrain, uh, but then it could pick up boxes and whatnot and. Uh, I'll, I'll set up a link down there for a, a Kotaku article about it, uh, and you can see what that's all about. Uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I guess basically you get to see them kind of look like they tortured a little bit. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Uh, it's just showing how uh, stable it can be or how it can get back up or whatever. But uh, there's obviously a lot of memes going on about how it's uh, it's the end of the world and robot uprising. And uh, in the video, you see one guy doing all the doing all the quote-unquote abuse uh so he, he's probably the first human to go just suffice it to say but you know hey it is what it is uh 
So uh, another thing I was uh, I was looking up the other day, uh, I found a YouTube video uh, by uh, Bill Wirtz, and uh, it's all about the history of Japan. Now, I, I'm not going to really go into too much detail. It's a, I think it's about a nine minute video on YouTube. Uh, I'll, I'll link that too as well. Uh, really worth your time if you're interested in Japan at all. It goes from basically the, the well not prehistoric era, but basically right where then when the few first humans came along uh, and how they they uh, they evolved and progressed through time. Really great video, very entertaining, very very concise. Uh, really really fills out the history and it's fun. It's just fun to watch uh, and you get to learn something while you're at it. So I'd highly recommend that. So now one of the big things I, I wanted to talk about is uh, VR. Oh, that's not how you do that, is it? Okay, cool. Um, so, oh my lordy. <laughs> okay, um, so VR. Uh, do I want to actually make it down here? Let's see. Anyways, uh, so there's, there's a whole bunch of VR uh, type devices coming out, which you, you may or may not know about. Um, and I'm just going to go over a list of a few of them. Uh, oh, what? Does, okay, sure. <laughs> um, I don't know how that's the first time <laughs> I got that achievement just now, but I'll, I'll take it. Uh, so anyways, there's VR options. Uh, so there's the HTC Vive, which is uh, by Valve uh, in, in partnership with HTC. Uh, and they're making a, a, a headset. Uh, there's the Oculus Rift, uh, which is owned by, uh, maybe I might want to make it in the desert. I don't, nah, probably not, I guess, because then at least I can plant a farm and stuff. Um, then there's the Oculus Rift, and there's also the PlayStation VR, uh, which will work with PlayStation. So the first two, Ocul Oculus and HTC Vive, work with the PC. Uh, the PlayStation VR obviously works with the PlayStation. Uh, then there's uh, there's like the Samsung Gear VR, which works with uh, the 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 phablet uh, Samsung phones, uh, Samsung Note five, six. I'm not entirely sure which ones uh, exactly, but uh, the the bigger Samsung phones for sure. Um, and then there's also Google Cardboard, which is really really cheap. If you got a smartphone. Uh, Android smartphone you can you can buy this I think it's like 20 bucks uh, and you can get this online uh, I think Google is actually selling it they weren't before but now they're selling it directly so you can get it from them uh, if you want to see what the VR experience is about because it's got the it's got the it's, you put your phone in the little cardboard uh, thing and uh, it gives you like that uh, the very basic experience uh, which is fine uh, and, it, and it'll give you like a, you know if you're into that well, then there's a good chance you're probably going to be uh, into the more the more expensive stuff. But they are more expensive. HTC Vive, $800. Oculus Rift, 600 Now, mind you, granted, uh, the HTC Vive, $800. That $200 more comes with a few things extra. It comes with the motion controllers that the Oculus Rift does not. Uh, so who knows how much that would be. And if you're really going to get into VR, you probably want those uh, anyways. Uh, it also, the way that the, uh, the HTC Vive works, I mean, it has, uh, geez, man, this is, this is a lot harder to <laughs> walk and <laughs> walk, talk and do this. Oh my, you're not watching this, are you? That's crazy. This isn't happening. Anyways, uh, so that comes with a built-in camera, which is nice because, uh, what it'll let you do is that while you're in the experience, uh, as you get close to out objects in the, in the real world, or just you can probably switch to it. You can see through the headset, essentially, uh, to the outside world. So that way you can navigate a little bit or get yourself situated before you go into a game, which is nice. Or you pick up a phone or whatever the case may be. So that's nice. And then also the way that it works is it, uh, is, uh, it works with these lighthouses, uh, which bounces light. Uh, and the headset picks up on the light. Uh, which, and it uses two. And it pretty much maps an entire room if you wanted. Uh, I'm using my hands. Don't know how that, that works out. It probably doesn't translate well. <laughs> but uh, essentially, it maps the whole room so you could navigate. You could actually walk around with this thing, and it would follow you and keep track of you, which is really interesting. Uh, 
and also because of the the the, the way the form factor and everything it, it just gives you a little bit more breadth so it might be a little bit more future proofed but it is you know two hundred dollars more so depending on what kind of experience oh boy uh <laughs> we're going for here then uh, that's that that's up to you uh personally if i had to make uh a, I, I bet I would go with the HD, HTC Vive if you have a beefy gaming PC. Uh, PlayStation VR is probably going to be your cheaper all-around option, but they haven't announced the price yet. Um, but, uh, I, you know, with all things, wait until they come out. They're coming out this year. Uh, well, I don't know about the PlayStation VR. I believe it's coming out later this year, but the other two have been announced for this year, uh, the Oculus and HTC Vive. So, uh, well, I guess I better... I better... This is horrible. I better make something... Uh, some little hut or something or you know what there's there's a cave i'm just gonna take this and go in there um okay let's go Whew. so i'm sorry it's gonna get a little dark uh unfortunately unless i can find some coal which even i am having a hard time seeing you know what for the purpose of this, I'm going to turn up uh, the brightness, for now anyways, uh, just a little bit. Hopefully there's coal in here. If not, then that's just that's just terribly unfortunate. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. So let's get let's just, let's get some torches going, uh, and then we'll go for that for that. Uh, so you can always look those up uh, if you want to know more. How that interests you. Uh, but like I said, the Google Cardboard is going to be your cheaper, uh, your cheaper go-to option, uh, just to experience it. So I would try that out. Uh, anyways, uh, so now I'm I'm going to go into uh, those are the three. I kind of like got three topics for every little section here. Uh, now I'm going to go into. Uh, well, that's not how that works. Going to talking about a couple of games that have uh, that are coming out recently. Uh, this is actually already just a half decent established little base. Let's work with this here. Uh, so, uh, you know what? Actually, where are the mod? Oh, yeah, they, they, they exist. Okay. Um, so, I was going to talk about some games next, uh, some current games, and some things that interested me. Uh, as you probably might be aware of, there's a a new Far Cry that came out, Far Cry Primal, uh, uh, set in a prehistoric era. No, well, I don't know about that, but uh, 10,000 BC essentially. Uh, so, like, I don't know, 12,000 years ago. <laughs> um, and uh, it's an interesting. It's it's more Far Cry, uh, a little bit more on the brutal side. Uh, def definitely uh, a little bit more. Well, not more mature than the other Far Cries, but it, it definitely has a very. Uh, brutal feel to it as you essentially bash the enemies to death uh, or throw spears and the spears have uh, impact to them so when you throw them you you really it goes in it's one hit kill and uh it'll kind of launch the guy so you you really feel a sense of uh, damage uh it's kind of neat it's got a whole uh, animal mechanic uh where you can uh, collect animals uh, essentially or, or tame them uh, and then they can fight for you. Uh, it's got, you know, you get you get an owl, and then it, the owl can mark your enemies, and you know, it's kind of obviously it's a game, <laughs> so it so it bends reality a little bit. But it, but it's got all the Far Cry trappings where you can mark your enemies and then and then take them out. Um. So can I get that? I don't think so. Not with wood. Um. So that that's a if you're into Far Cry, it's more more of the same essentially. So if you're burnt out, you might might want to hold off on that one in particular. Uh, but if you know if you love the formula and you, it's got a lot. You, you upgrade villages uh, through time and and you get more abilities and, and, and as you progress through the story. I'm not, I'm not sure if there is much of a story essentially, but it, it could be a fun little experience. Now, uh, what really the a game that is really interesting is there a torch on here? Is that why? Okay, well let's just move that. Um, a really interesting game that came out is uh, Super Hot. Uh, super Hot. Uh, kind of like that is how it, how it goes. Uh, it's a, it's a first-person shooter. Very, uh, very. It's uh, all white, uh, white, black, and, and red. I think the enemies are uh, very simple in its colors, but very, 
very artistic. Uh, but the cool mechanic about this game is that time does not move unless you move, right? So if you were, you know, like for example, right here, if I was standing here and there's an enemy over there, he would just be looking at me, but he wouldn't be moving. I wouldn't be moving. Uh, he'd move very slowly, actually. It's not, but it doesn't pause it to be very slow. And then as I move like this, he would move ever so slightly. But then when I move, he moves one to one with me, essentially. So it's kind of like a first person, but a, but a kind of a puzzle game. Uh, really neat, though. Okay, that, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, really neat experience, though. Uh, I would I would really suggest looking looking into that. Oh oh boy. Okay good I made another one. Um, I think I I think I should wall this off maybe for now until daytime comes. I wish there were some sheep but I don't have any so that's you know it is it is what it is. I guess this is where I'm doing it. Whatever. Um, oh there we go. Jeez Louise. Oh okay. Uh, oh man. So super hot, uh, really cool. It's got, it kind of got a uh, cyber cyber experience. It's got like, uh, if you know what MS DOS is, <laughs> you might not. Uh, anyways, it's like a command prompt thing where uh, you slash and oh, just ignore that. Uh, where you can uh, where you type in little commands and you kind of go through. Uh, very very hacker-ish looking kind of experience. But uh, but really neat. I would suggest you go trying that out. Uh, for for all these games, by the way, uh, I would recommend if you're interested and want to know more, uh, look up look up your reviews. Uh, uh, personally, I go to GameSpot, but you, you know whatever one, whatever reviewers float your boat. But also, uh, Quick Looks are a good way to go. Uh, and the ones I would recommend, uh, if you may not know, is the Giant Bomb Cast. Uh, they're great, great group of guys. Uh, been around for a long time. Uh, they are, a lot of them were originally with GameSpot. Uh, back in the day, too. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Um, so, I would recommend checking those out. And then the, the last game I want to talk about is... Uh, oh, am I going to just, like, bleed out and die or something? The last game I would uh, I want to talk about is uh, The Witness. A little older now, a few weeks anyways. But it's a puzzle game. Uh, all kind of like line puzzles. Uh, fantastic looking world. I, I, I'm sorry, guys, that I'm not really doing much here I'm, I'm mostly here kind of think of this as like a minecraft uh, at least in the beginning uh podcast <laughs> so you know you're better off listening doing doing homework or whatever you want to do or even searching out the things i'm talking about but anyways the witness with its line puzzles uh basic in some ways but really intricate in others it does a really good job of making you feel here's a good way to look out making you feel uh Uh, like like you're really smart when you when you finish the puzzle uh, you feel really good about it um, so oh man I, oh you know what I can just make better tools can I that seems like an appropriate thing to do uh, so the puzzles can get really intricate uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot to do with perspective uh, and there's like the, there's there's several areas uh, in the world that all have their unique little puzzles uh, as you go through them and it doesn't really hold your hand uh, for a puzzle game experience but I would highly recommend it if you're interested in doing puzzles uh, it's made by Jonathan Blow uh, if you ever played Braid uh, which is his previous game uh, you know if you're into that if you're into if you're into Talos Principle another puzzle game uh, these things are what floats your boat I would highly recommend this game give it a try or you know like I said you can always watch a quick look Get a little bit of experience in the first little area, right? You don't want to spoil puzzles necessarily, but but give that a look see. Um, so so now what I want to go into is uh, some shows I've been watching. Uh, so I've been I just started Jessica Jones. I know I'm a little late <laughs> to that party, but uh, but it is what it is. Uh, a little bit more on the mature side. Oh, here we go. Um, I wish there was food down in this cave, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, particularly for me and then even get myself situated with a little farm going on with my 20 seeds here is debatable at best uh oh yeah i was making tools or going to wasn't i uh oh, we'll just, i don't need that anymore uh so so i was i've been watching jessica jones uh, i think it's pretty fantastic obviously mature uh female protagonist that's nice 
Uh, I've only watched the first couple of episodes, so you know I can't really go into detail. But if you liked uh, Daredevil, uh, if you like Marvel, uh, if that's your sort of thing, I would highly recommend it. Uh, so far, obviously. Um, but you know I don't think you can go wrong necessarily if you don't like it. Just you know stop watching it. <laughs> Nothing's forcing you to, right? You just gotta give it a give it. I always I like to give shows like a, a three show, uh, a three show shot. Uh, don't pass muster and then I, I mosey on if I'm not if I'm not feeling it uh, so I leave it up to you to figure that stuff for yourself but that, that's how I go about things uh, another show I've been watching and yes I'm into anime uh, is Akame Ga Kill uh, pretty good uh, like a fun pretty fun anime uh, I'd say I mean I really need to once when I, when I get myself established uh, hopefully next episode actually you know what I, I should, oh, maybe I should try to Good. I, I have a whole plan to make like this whole castle and thing and it's gonna take me a long time to build that so there'd be a lot of monotonous things I could kind of do while I'm talking instead of wandering around like like I don't know I guess most things will be dead right except for creepers uh, so that's okay um so oh I need a hoe shoot uh, so Akami got kill uh, it's, it's about a group of assassins about uh, against the kingdom that's corrupt. Uh, pretty interesting, a uh, little little dark too, kind of, but actually pretty uh, pretty light at the same time. Uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, so mature but goofy. I don't know. Uh, kind of almost got a harem thing going on too. Uh, but it's a fun little epi episodic thing. Twenty four episodes, I believe. Uh, give it a go if, if if you think you'll sure if you'll be into it. Uh, and then uh, you know, let me let me know what you think. Uh, I think it's all right though. It's not it's not like blowing my mind or anything, but you know, it's fun. You know, why why not? Uh, but oh man, there's an anime that I have been watching actually. <laughs> yeah, I watch a whole bunch at once, and I kind of just move around. Uh, which just came out on Netflix. Uh, and yes, I watch a lot of dubs too. Uh, so I guess I'm a little bit of a sellout or something. I'm not sure how people think fondly of the dubbers out there but you know it is what it is plus i don't know i tend to do other things while i'm watching these shows I like play minecraft so <laughs> naturally uh it, it just it's a little easier <laughs> i don't know japanese so you know unless i actually want to engage a hundred percent oh okay um so uh your lie in april it's a it's a very a very, very classical music uh musicians uh is it's based around a couple classical musicians uh but it's a really beautiful anime uh animated very well but it's got it's got the light-hearted feel to it and you can really see it in their faces i'm not really sure what that's called but the way that they animate sometimes uh but it's really funny too and then serious it's it's got a whole bunch of trappings uh but super good so far i think i've watched about 10 episodes of that I think that's like 22 episodes long. I, yet again, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, sorry, I should really have this all written down. Um, but I would highly recommend that, if you especially have Netflix. Really easy to get into. Uh, really beautiful. Um, so, and then another show which I'm going to recommend uh, is uh, Kerbal, uh, Kerbal Project Beast. Uh, these are also done by the Giant Bomb guys, but they have a, a East Side unit uh, in, based in New York. And, uh, am I just, like, hoping that this, oh, boy, uh, I'm basically just hoping that this is going to be, going to keep me alive. Oh, uh, maybe I can just find, where'd those chickens go? I, uh, I, uh, I don't like that creeper. <laughs> All right, let's go, I'm going to have to go find some creeper, or creeper, oh, well, bunny, I'll take it. I know, animal cruelty, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, you're lying, April, or no, Project Beast, sorry, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, hello. Oh, boy. Um, cactus doesn't give you anything, right? There's no way I can get, like, sustenance from that. That'd be, uh, that'd be too easy, right? Uh, I don't know why I'm looking around a desert. What are the odds, right? Whatever. Here, here's open. Come back. Look, I won't do anything to you. No way. Wait, is it? Oh, yeah, the new mechanic. No. I am not used to the new combat mechanic. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Thank you. I'm out. Oh, pig! Oh, come here. Um, Kerbal Project Beast. Uh, it's based around uh, 
three guys from that from that unit in uh, New York playing uh, Kerbal, which is a space uh, based game, and it's all it's very a sim it's a simulation based, uh, very in depth. Uh, they they kind of know what they're doing, but they kind of don't. Uh, that's the f funny part about it. Uh, they're fun to listen to, these guys. Uh, mind you, uh, their episodes are really long. Um, so I'm not sure how well that would translate uh, if you're actually going to like fully engage. Uh, maybe it might float your boat. Uh, yet again, it's one of those things that I like to put on the background and uh, do my own thing while I'm... Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> While I'm watching, uh, really fun. I'll, I'll put a link to that uh, as well. Um, sure. Okay. Uh, so then, finally, uh, I'll go over a couple a uh, couple movies I've watched uh, recently. Uh, uh, Deadpool, <laughs> as you may know, uh, fantastic. I couldn't recommend that more. Uh, obviously, if you're age appropriate or if your parents give you permission, depending, or whatever the case may be, uh, highly recommend, if you have the option to see that, that you do. Uh, it is hilarious, uh, although I also personally have uh, a love for Ryan Reynolds. Can't deny it. Uh, even with Green Lantern being horrible, I still enjoy him, uh, his acting. So, <laughs> enjoy him, that's a pretty rough way to say it. But anyways, I enjoy his acting. Uh, but it, this is actually genuinely really, really good. Uh, really low budget, which which doesn't necessarily show, but it's funny. He makes some quips about it. it it's really hilarious. You'd, you'd have to watch it. You'll get to know. You'll get familiarity with Deadpool, and it seems like they've made a whole bunch of money. I mean, way more than they were expecting. So they're gonna get a sequel, and Deadpool's gonna really get himself situated in the whole Minecraft universe now, which is nice. Um, I've also watched uh, Kung Fu Panda uh, three recently oh that's not <laughs> also pretty good if you uh you know basically it goes without saying if you like the first two kung fu pandas you're gonna like the third i don't see why you wouldn't uh it's, it's more the same uh, a little different obviously a little different settings or whatever the case may be but you know funny in, in the way that it is and uh oh i can collect this now i can't I? um so also another recommended movie i don't think i'm gonna bring up movies that I watched and didn't like. I don't, you know, what's the point? Because uh, chances are, if I didn't like it, it's probably not that good. <laughs> uh, that might not always be the case, but obviously this is curated around my tastes. Uh, so it is what it is. Um, I don't think I've watched any other movies l recently. Uh, I'm really excited for uh, House of Cards coming out. Uh, if you're like me, you're probably excited too. I think March 4th is when it comes out, so I'll binge watch that uh super great uh oh just a, just a great uh great show overall highly recommend it uh a lot of shows on netflix actually uh so i'm looking forward to that uh, and i'll probably end up talking more about that next episode uh so but with that all said i think i'm gonna get uh, i'm gonna let you guys go get myself a little better situated uh probably not show you that because this this looks, uh, this is pretty boring. So I'm going to go figure out, get myself uh, situated, figure out, and then uh, we'll go from there. But thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, just have a good day. Just, you know, have fun. Go out there. Just enjoy the world. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right. Bye. <laughs>